Hello, this is Sal. Today we will be talking about DHCP snooping. It's a layer 2 security technology built into the operating system of a capable network switch that drops DHCP traffic determined to be unacceptable. The fundamental use case for DHCP snooping is to prevent unauthorized, which is rogue DHCP servers, offering IP addresses to DHCP clients just like this DHCP server and it's a rogue DHCP server so a rogue DHCP server is a DHCP server on a network which is not under the administrative control of the network staff as clients connect to the network both the rogue and legal DHCP servers will offer them IP addresses as well as default gateway DNS servers among others now we have in this network the router and uh, I configured the DHCP server here and the IP address of the DHCP server it's a static IP address 192.168.1.2 and the DHCP service is on and I configured everything here on it so now for the computers connected to the uh, network they are gonna get their IP addresses from the DHCP when they send an offer and they will receive when they send a request and they will receive an offer here we have PCA and uh, when I turn the put it on DHCP requesting a DHCP uh, IP address it receives the IP address of 192.168.1.4 and the same goes with the HCPB. It received it with dot one five, and the same with PCC. So here, uh, for us on the DHCP server, it is switch the traffic between the network devices, and the same when a PC sends uh, an IP requesting it from the DHCP server the DHCP server answered this request with an offer and as you saw here with PCA, PCB and PCC they received their IP addresses from the DHCP server and as for the switch here let's see if uh, IP DHCP snooping is turned on enable show IP DHCP is snooping and as you can see here it's by default turned off DHCP uh, snooping is disabled and we need to enable it and snooping is configured on the following VLANs not we have uh, no VLAN is configured to have a DHCP snooping here uh, when we run this command on the switch show IP interface brief we can see here we have the fast Ethernet 01 here this the port and this here and plus the IP uh, sorry the port for uh, fast ethernet 010 the port connecting the switch with the server so now if we turn show vlan brief this is showing us that all the ports on the switch are configured on by default on vlan 1 so now let us assume that the uh, rogue DHCP and is it's also configured with the static IP address of 192.168.2.2 and with the default gateway and the services is on for the HCP and uh, it's from 192.168.2.0 255 IP addresses so now let's assume that 
this rogue server with the guy who is operating it was able to connect you know so to fast ethernet 020 and TCA here sent a request requesting an IP address from the servers IP config renew it's received the same IP address was configured to it before and we can see here uh, the DHCP the rogue DHCP server now let's try again to see from which DHCP server is gonna receive the IP address from and as you can see here the switch didn't care or didn't know any better you know he has two DHCP servers connected to it and received an offer from PCA and just received uh, sorry a request from PCA for a IP address and uh, the rogue server was the first to uh, offer one and this is how PCA got this IP address 192.168.2.1 let's try with PCB go to the command prompt and type the same command IP config for the slash renew and it received an offer from the rogue DSCP server 192.168.2.4 now uh, as we showed before that when on the IP the SCP snooping is disabled on the switch so now let us turn it on show IP the SCP snooping is still showing us it is disabled and now we will will enable it config configure terminal IP the SCP snooping and we will hit enter now we will go to PCA again and renew the IP address and it will fail the DHCP request failed why because the switch now the admin or the network did not tell the switch you trust only the port of app 010 which is the corporate or the company's DSCP server don't try it still did not configure any port so it will forward the IP request to from the PCs to the DSCP servers or receive them so it blocked all the ports the second we hit IP DSCP snooping when we enable the SCP snooping in the server, it blocked our illegal DSCP server and the same with the rogue server. And sometimes or in some networks, you will configure your router to offer IP addresses to the network. So now we need to trust only the port on F010. And even when we the, we'll try again with PCC here to see if it to send uh, an IP config renew or slash renew and the same it will fail because we still did not tell the DHCP server which port to trust as we showed also when I ran the command here exit show VLAN brief it showed us that all the ports on the switch are on VLAN 1 by default so now what we are gonna do is uh, configure terminal IP DHCP IP DHCP snooping and VLAN 1 enter now we will, will it trust the, the port on the switch, the port connecting the server, the DSCP legal server, our company's server on F010. Enter IP DSCP 
snooping and here we have we are telling the switch or this command is telling the switch uh, to trust port f010 on the switch so now before on this pc the dhcp request failed let's run the command again and see and received an IP address from the legal or our company's DHCP server and the same with PCB and it received an IP address of 192.168.1.5 and the same with the computer or PCC and it received an IP address 192.168.1.6 now let's assume that we configured the switch switch one to trust only the port connecting the dhcp server of uh, f010 with the ip addresses request what if we went to the dhcp server our legal dhcp server and we turned it off do you think we will receive we will uh, the the rogue DHCP server will be able to send any IP address request to any of the PCs. Let's try this again. Let's type the command IP config renew, and it will fail because we trusted only our DHCP server to offer IP addresses. And now, when we turn the serv the DHCP services on the uh, server, and the, the switch trusts only one port, so the DHCP server, the rogue DHCP server, like it is not there. Now go back to the DHCP server, our company's DHCP server, and turn it back on, and go to PCA again, and it will send. An IP uh, request an IP address and it received an offer of 192.168.1.4. So here I'll run another command show IP DHCP snooping and it's showing us that it doesn't trust it doesn't trust this port connecting the rogue DHCP server it trusts only the fast ethernet 010 here connecting our legal DHCP server to the switch and I'll run another command show IP DHCP snooping binding and here it's showing us that there was a bind a, a binding here, this is the MAC address of the PC connected, connecting on the network uh, via the fast Ethernet 01 on this port and one of the PCs and the other PC also on fast Ethernet uh, 01 because we have PCA and PCB and uh, the MAC address with the IP address also the same IP addresses for all the PCs are showing here on this network. I hope uh, you learned something today and I hope I, it, it, this video was informative and helpful and if you like it please uh, subscribe to my channel and I will see you soon in my next video wishing you a nice day.